All right, so what's going on, ladies and gents? Today, I want to talk about one of my one of my old favorite YouTubers from way, way well, not way, way back in the day, but from like probably say like a year ago is when I first found her, and that is uh, Girl Gone Gamer, or otherwise known as her real name, which is Rhea. And I believe that's her real name. And basically, what I'm going to talk about today is I want to I want to talk about what happened to her and maybe maybe leap. <laughs> maybe some of you guys can fill me in on a lot of stuff that I may miss out on or may not know. So what I what I don't get is um, I want to know what happened to the gameplay. Now there's a lot of rumor and speculation around this, and from what I can see is that you know well first you know let me let me go into um, basically how how I found the channel and basically what I thought of the channel. So I found the channel, well, I can't remember how I found it, but I found the channel around a year ago and I started watching her and she had really good commentary and I liked how she had a mix of like, she had a variety of things. She had things where she, I think, cook, she went on vacations, she did vlogs, she did uh, gameplay, she did all, you know, gameplay commentary, live commentaries, things like that. And one thing that I like in the YouTube channel is I like variety. I like a channel, <clears throat> excuse me, I like a channel where I can find all kinds of stuff. I want to be able, like, you know, I want to be able to find, like, you know, it doesn't have to be anything in particular, but I like, I just like variety and I like randomness. That's why my channel is, you know, the way it is. Like, if you look at my channel, I have a whole bunch of stuff. I have, you know, variety of games. I got, you know, I got the best of both worlds, Call of Duty and, you know, vlogs and Let's Plays, things like that. And basically, I, I believe she also had Let's Plays, but I'm pretty sure she had just uh, mainly was the theme. The main theme was Call of Duty and it was um it was pretty good gameplay from what i can remember you know it was really it was really good it wasn't like top tier like what i would consider top tier would be somebody like the mark of j or somebody like um well wow, i can't even think of that many youtubers off the top of my head but the mark of j is that when i think of top tier gameplay i think of you know people like him people who can you know p post ridiculously 75 in one gameplays you know stuff like that the kind of gameplay that when you look at it, it makes you want to play that game. And then when you play it, it's like, oh, okay, I don't want to play this anymore. This isn't working for me like it was working for him. So basically, um, I liked the gameplay and I liked all that type of stuff. It wasn't like, like I said, it wasn't top tier, but it was, you know, it was good gameplay. And for me, I'm not really someone who picks a gameplay. Like, I personally don't care what you post in terms of game. Well, no, no, I do care what you post, but I, I'm not. I'm not picky. I'm not like, oh, he, uh, you know, he went 25 and one. He could have, uh, he could have died right here if he would have just did this and that right there. So you know, I'm not really, I'm not really picky when it comes to uh, gameplay. But I do like commentary, and commentary is something that I do focus on when I watch these videos. I want to make sure that you know, me personally, I want to make sure that I'm vocal and I'm getting my point across throughout the entire video. And uh, she got her point across. You know, she was really vocal in her videos, and you know, it, to me, it was just a great channel. I liked it. And somewhere down the road, I don't know what the hell happened, but I'd probably say like around six, seven months ago. That's probably wrong. Maybe eight or nine, probably. Yeah, I think like a year ago, actually. She started like her, her channel changed. It became vlogs and all her videos, basically like her videos became Ray of Replies and q and a's that's basically what her channel consisted of and other random things which you know i'm not saying is a bad thing by no means am i bashing her by saying you know this is a bad thing i'm just saying like you know that's what her channel became after uh, after some point in time and you know the call of duty fans like you know i guess you could say me i was kind of like her well see that's the thing i wasn't really her like I said, you know, I was into the commentary. Her Call of Duty skills is not something that I I prided. Like if I if I go for you know YouTube uh, YouTube YouTube gameplay, I would go to people like like I said the Mark J, Optic Scump. You know, I I'd go for the guys who put up the ridiculous, rid, uh, just ridiculous, crazy, amazing scores. I just came mainly for the commentary. That's basically what I was into, and um. Yeah, I guess her Call of Duty fans, you know, they ended up hating her because you know how the internet can be. If you stop doing this or that, people are going to hate you. And if they don't hate you, they just kind of stop watching your channel. So it was either the mix of the two. Either they thought they got abandoned or they just didn't like the content anymore. And they just felt like, oh, well, you know, whatever. And the loyal fans basically just stayed. Just Not the loyal fans. I should say the fans who were there for her actually stayed. 
And you know that kind of reminds me of Woody. Woody also stopped uh, Woody's gamer tag. He also stopped making YouTube videos full time for um, for his Minecraft server. He he realized he could make more money on his Minecraft server, and he decided to, do, to ah, he decided to do that. I'm getting tongue twisted like hell today. Which you know I'm not saying is a bad thing. You know Woody doing what he's doing. You know that's that's him. I you know I support and I respect that. You know he he has a family. So you so, I mean he has to he has to think of his family first before his fans, which I totally understand. You know. So I don't, I'm not hating on him for, you know, stop making YouTube videos to, um, to, for his Minecraft server to make more money. And plus, I mean, they still upload Painkiller already, so that's also a plus. But her channel became a lot of just rare replies and Q&As. And to me, they're, they're nice to watch every now and then. Me as a fan, like as a spectator, I like to watch them every now and then, but I don't, like, to me, they, they, they're not the kind of videos where I immediately click on them when I see them because you know we all know that we have that one youtuber where whenever he uploads a video he or she whenever they upload a video you immediately click on it no matter what it may be we now we all have that youtuber that that's like that and basically that's what her channel consisted of after a while and you know it was nice to watch every now and then and then it took another turn and, and it, to me I was just like damn like what is it like you know th like now this and basically now this is from what i can see and basically what all the internet sees is that her her channel has basically it, it just changed like now she you know she's showing more cleavage in her videos Cause one thing that i did like was that in, like when she uploaded videos of herself she made sure that she was well covered and she she looked like she looked as if she respected her body and didn't seem like she was trying to show everything off to the world and i mean me personally, I like a girl who can respect herself. You know, I like I like someone who can respect their body. To me, that's one of the that's that's one of the most nicest things to me I that I can see about a girl is the way that she carries herself and the way that she presents herself in front of a crowd of people or just in public. And she started showing a lot of cleavage. She started like grabbing her boobs. And I mean, before anyone tries to hate on this video, let's be real. She does the boob grabs, the boob grabs, the boob grab a lot. She does it a lot. You can't deny it. She does it a lot. And it, it's just, I, I don't know what happened. Like, like you know, what happened? Like, why why is she showing so much cleavage? She's doing the boob grabbing every few seconds. And she'll say something like, oh, you know, don't look at my boobs. And she'll grab them. And it's like, really? Like, really? A lot of your fans are between the age of 12 and probably 18. They like boobs. Us men, we like them. You know what I mean? So it's not like this is something foreign to us. It's not like we're going to be like, oh, God, close our eyes. No, those kids are going to look at that type of stuff. Me personally, I don't watch her channel anymore, really, because of that. I mean, every now and then I will click on a video because some of them actually can be funny and they can be insightful. I'm not saying her channel shit now. By no means am I trying to say her channel shit. I'm just saying it's changed. In a, it's just changed like over the years. It changes. And I understand that people change as they evolve in life. But I'm just saying it. This channel just changed in a just in a lot in a much more different way than I imagined that it ever would. And yeah, just the cleavage and the boob grabbing and all the the boob talk and the and just it's crazy. Like I don't know what happened. Um I I mean, you know, there's lots of speculation going going around, but you know, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Let me know what you think and why she decided to make the change make something something make such a drastic change like that because i mean to me it's you know it's whatever it is what it is you know that's her life i'm gonna let her live it it's not like i it's not like i have a problem with how she does her life like you know i don't hate her or anything but you know i mean to me it's just not how i if i was a girl or if she was my female friend i would have a problem with the way she carries herself in the video in the in her videos i should say so that's it for this commentary let me know what you guys think about this topic and i want to thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and as always have a wonderful day peace